Hey there guys and welcome to the fourth episode I do believe of Ultimate Hazard. We're up to 80 strike, 88 striker slash 90 because we've got him up to a 90. But I've just upgraded my team since the last episode, which I apologise was out late because it was out last, well yesterday, <sighs> instead of last Thursday. But I'm going to try my best to get them out every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and hopefully this episode goes smoothly and I can just get it up uh, uploaded. This is going to be a bit of an eventful um, episode actually. Also, I might play a few games, as you can see, I have not done my daily activities to, um, for this day. Well, the reset, you know, the reset every, t every day for me at 8 o'clock or 8 p.m. in the UK. Um, so we've still got all these to do. We can do them, I'm not really fussed about doing them. Um, even though I would like the position token. Um, and some of the, the training tokens aren't too bad. And I'll show you the plans in a minute. And there's also a load of packs I want to um, open as well for you guys. So if I go to the uh, live events right now, there was actually a Road to Riches event on, which I just, you know banged out and grinded out this morning um pretty much just before actually starting the vlog of today as well which was um going pretty cool if you haven't seen any of the vlogs you can go check them out um in the vlogs i also provide like a bit of a sneak preview like behind the scenes of some videos i'm recording such as ultimate hazard so if you guys are enjoying this series you can actually go check it out and get some sneak peeks of stuff got three games there that are expiring and stuff but i'm going to show you guys my new team and i don't think you guys are ready for this absolutely brilliant brilliant new team right here Let's see who I've upgraded. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, we have a new striker. Goes by the name of Kramerich, I do believe, or Kramerich. Kramerich. So he's took the place of Giroud. Only one reason why he's took the place of Giroud is because he's a lot quicker than Giroud. He's got better shooting, better passing and better dribbling. Um, Giroud is better at defending and better at physical, but that doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, he's got some insane stats. Um, I do believe he starts starts off as an 88 as well. Oh, he is an eight. Oh no, he's an 89. Sorry. Um, but his long shot goes up. His shot powers up. His finishing's up. His strengths up. But his position, the the positioning and marking have gone down. He's got 81 sprint speed, and 90 acceleration, 91 ball control, 92 dribbling. Pretty insane card if we can compare him. Um, the Giroud has just got one more finishing, one more shot power, but everything else is just not as good. I don't think apart from the strength. So and also. Um, Kramerich has the roulette, which um, you know Giroud doesn't. Giroud has the uh, reverse step over, and I prefer the roulette, so it makes it easier to actually bang in goals and stuff like this. And I've been playing, you know, pretty well with him. Um, also, as you can see, we've got a new right forward as well. We've got rid of the last one, which was Ben Yedder, I do believe, and we've just purchased Muller because it was pretty cheap. It was about twenty to thirty k or so, and for an eighty-six rated player, he puts the team rating up quite nicely, and you know, plus one percent fans got some okay stats and. Muller is just, you know, he's just a legend, he's a boss. Still got Kane, still got Ruiz, still got Brown, and got um, Cookie Zalazar. I don't think he was in the last episode, so we've got him because he pl has plus two finishing and then plus, you know, minus one free kick. But free kicks, you know, you can just bang in with Hazard any day of the week. Um, and if I just swap out Giroud for um, the Hazard, oh no, he don't, oh no, he actually doesn't show you, um, you know, the actual overall because of you know, the boosts. So I do believe Cromwich is an 88. Um, Giroud is an 88 and Hazard is an 88, but then they go up to 89s and a 90. Um, midfield, I do believe he's just pretty much the same. Um, I don't think I've changed anything there. I think uh, Escalante is new, maybe, and I'm not quite sure there. The defence is the same, I do believe, apart from I bought um, Koscielny. I think Koscielny is a new buy. Um, cause the reason I've got Koscielny is because this guy offers, you know, Lane Baines offers the boost to, um, you know, England one, pre BPL pretty much. I also packed this guy, um, Chrisito, I don't know how you pronounce his name, um, Chrisito, it's a, um, what's it called, um, what's the word, impact player, um, and today is actually when he gets, um, you know, his values will get updated, so hopefully he gets updated pretty nicely, he started at a 78, and if he goes to an 88, that is just money in the bank, because he'll go to an elite, Elite 88, and that's a nice left back for me to either use, which I might do because Baines only offers, you know, boosts to the BPL only players, um, and he gets cancelled out anyway by the uh, Dani Alves, so it's not exactly too good. Um, for now, he actually does, you know, Leighton Baines just offers, you know, defence to 81, and he's a good left back, even though I'm a Liverpool fan. I like Leighton Baines, I like Kevin Morales as well, they're on my team. And I sort of used to like, fun fact, I used to like Ross Barkley until the last two derbies where Ross Barkley just played like an absolute cunt and should, he, he avoided like two or three red cards in both of them two games. But obviously I'm going to keep my boy Coutinho, I'm never going to change him. Even if I get a better um, centre you know, attacking mid, I'll probably just get rid of uh, Halilovic just because I think he's going to be, um, you know, sell for the most. 
Um, I'm going to keep one matter, obviously, un unless I get someone better, but he offers a nice boost, which is um, plus two, um, what is it, um, is it shot passing accuracy? I guess, yeah, shot passing accuracy. He offers that to all, so that's pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't, you know, he's not the same as the Banes. But if the Banes was the same, then yeah, he would get um, the same, you know, to all boosts. Um, but this one, you earn through achievements, and this one you can just buy anyone. Uh, anyone can buy that, you earn that versus League versus League. And that's pretty much the team, guys. I'm actually going to go to the plans just before I open these nice packs. They're not exactly player packs, by the way. They're um, coin packs. I'm going to show you them soon. I'm just going to go to the Blue Star event and show you guys how close we are to getting the 91 Hazard right here. One token away. One token away, which we could get in this episode if we really wanted to. Um, as you see, we've got four of the Striker tokens, and we can also exchange one of these tokens if we want, because we've got a shit ton of these. Um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six left forwards, and five camps so there's 11 tokens there with the um, with the possibility of getting 11 of them tokens i need 11 elite trophies which is kind of mental um moving on to here now i've got four out of seven blue star matches to get to the 93 hazard just need the position tokens the blue star trainings are actually just you know that they they come up you, you can get them so easily they're so common and too easy to get as you see for the 95 rated uh, hazard without even trying i've got to 90 out of 125 if i do all the events in a day you get 10 of them tokens anyway um, and you can also just do the live event that's always running, um, which is quite easy to get. Um, and also, you can buy the 35k pack in the store, which gives you three of them, which is quite nice. So on average, if you like do the live event like 15 times, I think you get um, a token for each, that's 15. Do all the live events, that's another 10, that's 25. And if you open one of them packs, that's another three, so 25 to 28 tokens a day is pretty nice. But then if you um, if you do the you know, daily act activities anyway, you can get your... Um, What's it called? Your energy refreshed back to 30. So then you can get another 15 tokens from the um, the live event, which is amazing. Or is it? Yeah, it's 15 because it costs two for a go, I do believe. And you only get 30 energy, so that's 15 because you get one each time. That's insane because then you can just. You're going to get them so easily, man. I'm going to get to 96, hopefully. 95 is my minimum aim, if you didn't know, guys. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, go check them out because. You know, a lot a lot of things get uh, mentioned from the start. That That's changing through this whole series, so yeah. You need to keep an eye out for them. Um, I'm just going to look at some of my events right now. There's nothing really I'm on for right now. Apart from this, I still need the elites for that. Uh, for the team of the week, I would like a uh, Robert Lewandowski since he does share the same first name as me. Um, that would be quite nice. Um, nothing on here. Although I am working towards getting myself ooh, uh, working, you know, towards getting myself one of these. Also, by the way, guys, I've actually um, got rid of the border things for the um, blue cast. And I've already, you know, also got rid of the mouse. Just because I think it's just a bit off-putting um, but you guys can let me know in the comment section um, as you see I need two gold trophies for this which is pretty close um, I'm always getting the two trophy packs from the daily activities as well anyway um, so it's quite nice and also I have like I get a shit ton of bronze players every now and then so and silver players I can always trade them in um, got one gold there that's the Krishikto guy I can never I don't know how to pronounce his name it's Chris Sito or something like Chris Sito we'll call him um, and also there's this event which is Still going. This this might stay forever. This twenty eight um, out of hundred tokens. Um, hopefully gives me something good. The uh, preseason tokens have finally just gone on um, because they're not needed. I've I'm getting loads of snowflakes. I've got loads of them, just because I use the Giroud to get the um, hidden achievements that you can get, which is quite cool. To be fair, that um, I forgot all about them. So if you go to achievements right here, um, you can see there's just a hell of a load of achievements that you can do, um, and I do believe it's in the programs one. Um, it's not, yeah, there it is. Look, fighting the cold. Um, this is way back when they had the um, you know, the event event for it. But if you win 250 matches any mode with a cold footed player in your squad, which was Giroud, you get snowflakes for each of the achievements, and they're just in the background that you never notice. So you can always go to programs and check out what's actually available to you. So the ones right now are you know, win three attack modes with a team of the year player, which is quite hard to get a team of the year player anyway because they're out of packs and I think they're out of um, plans as well, so you can only buy them. Um, there's also qualification, win a match with the world qualifiers key player to earn a qualifiers logo. Um, you get a flag reward pack for doing that as well, which is kind of hard to get the world qualifiers key if you haven't followed the plan, which I haven't. And then there's the complete any level 10 blue star upgrade plans for an elite star user logo. So you get a blue star logo if you get to the uh, level 10 hazard, which would be quite cool. So as soon as I see this on a guy, you know, a person's team, I might go ahead and do a video on the best team in the game, which I used to do way back in like December time, like... Even before that, I, I did like a weekly um, series where I was looking at the best team in the game and, you know, following that team and seeing what, you know, the best available players were at. And now, with the insane amount of players there are, you can get a 100 rated team and I'm going to look for a 101 rated team, which I have seen, so I'm going to look for 102. 
But if I can't find 102, I'll show you guys the 101 rated team and talk about it and, you know, show you guys the players and show you guys what team you can actually get if you play, you know, hard enough. Also, these are the plans I'm doing at the moment. So this is this is the April Mastercards right here, since it is April right now. I've got one token um, for the Hector Bellerin, which I would like to get if I can, because I need one pro token, obviously, that's going to be insane. Um, that'll be a good um, addition to the team because it's a BPL player, so it'll get a um, boost from the Leighton Baines. Also, it's going to provide a better boost than the Danny Alves because it pl puts plus one marking to all. doesn't take anything from anybody, it just um, adds plus three percent fans and, you know, one marking. It's a 90 rated card as well, so hopefully it'll go to like a 91, 92. Um, and I also would like to get... No, I, w I don't want. I don't want to get the Crasco. If I can, I can. Then if not, then I want this card. I want the Sadio Mane. But I think for legendary tokens, you need to get to Fever Champion. But then again, I'm not quite sure because this one's higher up. It's the Danny Rose, which would be a, uh, an amazing left back for me as well. Um, but I'm guessing that's the legendary and that um, you know Fever Champion. Sorry, and then this is the one just before. Um, because the logo, you know, the logo looks just a bit, you know, less upgraded than Danny Rose, and that's that one. And if we do go ahead and look at my attack mode right now, I am actually in Legendary Tier 2. Um, need to get to 5 million fans in 3 days to get to Legendary 1, which would be quite cool. But then I don't think I'm going to make it to Fever Champion this time around. So I'm going to have to go ahead and try again in the next, um, you know, next divisions. But this season ends in 3 days. I'm going to just do what I can. Um, today's Tuesday. So yeah, you're going to see... Um, on Thursday's episode, which is two days away, technically one day, technically one day because I think it updates at 8 p.m. for me. So it's going to go down to, you know, season ends in two days. I'm going to see how far, you know, how close I can get to Legendary. Hopefully I can get to Legendary by Thursday, which would be quite nice. That is like a day in the morning because um, I can grind it out. Well, actually, tonight I can grind it out and then tomorrow and then Thursday morning I can just grind this game out. And we'll see how close we can get. Now, let's move on to these packs then, yeah, guys? So these are the packs that I've actually got. Um, there's actually a token here for a quick sell token, which is what we're going to be opening. So that's for 500 coins right there. Um, these, these are the Road to Riches um, packs. There's 17 of them. I just grinded them out. And these have quick sell tokens in them where you can quick sell for coins. But the uh, maximum you can get is 25k. And if you're lucky, you could get 25k um, a token. So we're going to open as many of these as we can, which is, excuse me, 17. And see, we've got 5k, that is a great start. That is one 5k token right there, that is awesome. Um, I'm hoping to get at least a minimum of like five. Obviously, I, want, I just want 500 in each. Obviously, I want more than that. There's the 500. Hopefully, I don't get anything lower than 500 though. So, mm. so we've got um, 6,000 coins so far from these. Let's count them up. 6,250, that is not good. That is not a good pull for a Road to Riches card. But let's keep going. Hopefully, we'll get something pretty sick. 100 coins, god damn it, it's not going good. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom and open these two right here. Uh, three, sorry. Um, start from you know the bottom upwards. Just switch it up a little bit instead of going in order. That's 500 token, uh, 500 coins, sorry. So that's a bit of an upgrade from the last one that we just opened, which is 100 coins. Like, come on, come on here, give me something good. Come on, come on. 750. We're getting higher. Five. Like, well, we went from 100 to 500 to 750. This is going to be a thousand now. Watch. Come on, come on, come on. 250. Are you taking the piss? Okay, let's do this one on the far right hand side, bottom right. Come on. Go. 1,250. I'm taking I'm I'm feeling that. That's good. Let's go bottom left. Then we'll go top right and then top left. Switch it up a little bit. Boom. 10,000 coins, guys. 10k. That is awesome. That is the that is the best token I've actually ever got from these packs. 10,000 coins. Right, top right now. Let's go. Can we beat 10k in this pack? Can we beat 10k in any of these packs? 1,250. I'm taking that. I'm feeling that. That's good. Top left right now. Let's go. And then we'll be down to his last six packs, which is going to be awesome. 100 coins, not good. And um, we'll do this bottom card, and then we'll have five, and then we'll do the middle one, the far right one, then the left one, then the right one, then the left one. Boom. 250 coins. I'm not feeling that. Middle card. Middle middle pack, sorry. Come on. Come on. We just got 10k in one of them packs. That was awesome. 15k, yes, let's go. Come on, that is awesome. 15k, so we did the middle card, we'll do this right card, which was the right of it. We won't beat 15k, I don't reckon now. 15k is the most I've ever got, and I've just got that on a video. 100 coins, not good. Go with the left hand side card now, which is now the middle card. Middle pack, sorry, I'm just gonna call them pa uh, cards because they are. Come on, 2500, I'm feeling that, that's good. Go for the right hand side card, and then cross his fingers now. Hopefully, you guys, if you guys are crossing your fingers, this is gonna be a good pack. If you cross your fingers right now and open this pack with me, it's going to be a good pack. Three, two, one, boom. Oh shit, I missed the, I mi <laughs> I missed the click. 100 coins, man. Jesus Christ, right. 
for this pack, I'm going to close my eyes. I know you guys can't see this actually, but um, actually, we could actually just turn the um, the webcam on for this one. I have actually got the webcam on. I'm just gonna close my eyes for this one. Look, I'm just gonna see where the uh, actually open thing open thing is. I don't. I should really do these with the webcam, but still, for the packs, I should anyway. Let's close my eyes now. I don't know what it is. Itch my nose. I'm just gonna not look. In three, two, one. 250 coins come on so yeah that was a pretty fun ending to that um, pack opening i'm just going to turn my webcam back off again uh, if you guys want me to do this actual series with webcam on i'm not too fussed it's just i don't think it's really needed unless i open packs like that to give me you know a reaction and stuff so we're going to go ahead and go to the market now and see how much um, how many coins we just got so we started on 11k right now not my bids go to sell um and go across to here the, these are all the coins we just uh, you know quick sell coins we opened up Ten, uh, look at that man, bang, bang, bang. You can only sell like five at a time, I do believe. So wait, I don't think that's enough. Yep, that's enough. Thirty-three thousand seven hundred fifty coins right there. We just started at eleven k. Remember, even all these small ones will add up. Though. I'm not too, I'm not too bothered about all these low ones. Three thousand coins right there, not too bad, not too bad. Still got the flag pieces. I'm waiting for that live event to finish just so I can use that in a token exchange. As you guys saw, I needed hundred tokens. Um. And there's quite a lot of tokens there. <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them tokens. Also, if I don't end up using all of these, I can use them on the token exchange, which is mental. Um, there's another extra 200 coins, and we'll see what we're on now. Boom, 49k. 49k. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to open another pack right now. And we're going to open another pack. Blue Star Pack. 35k. As you can see, I've already opened two of them. Um, 138 feed points right now as well, so... Um, for you know 200 I need to get um, 62 more which I'm gonna get in the activities tonight probably so I might just open with them off camera because there's only one goal a better player but you know what let's go for another reaction shall we just in case I get anybody good I don't think I will though um, I'm not gonna like close my eyes or anything I'm not gonna do any discard packs either I don't even know how you can do a discard pack from on here I guess you can just open the packs and see you get and then just discard the player no matter what Go with the middle card. There it is. That's that's the uh, only gold. Oh, we got a striker token. We can upgrade the card now. Oh, lads. And because we got a striker, we can actually change him out. This 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 is the reactions I'm on about. I'm so happy right now because this series is just getting so much better now with every every uh, with every episode. It's just crazy because right now, oh my god, we just that's crazy. We've just got a 91 rated striker. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so gassed right now. I'm so happy. That's 91 rated striker. My word. Oh my god. Oh my. That looks insane. It just looks insane seeing the, you know, the one extra from the 90. I know he was a 90 for me, but that's just because of upgrades. Now he's a 91 without upgrades. Like, what? Right, leave a comment right now. What do you think he's going to go to right now? So, um. If I swap out, the, is it the Kramer which I can swap out? Um, no, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Um, oh shoot, I need another striker to show you guys what these two ratings are because, yeah, obviously he can only take up one spot. But leave a comment right now what you guys think this overall is going to go to. In For me, I think it's going to go to 92 or 93. I know I'm saying two there, which are pretty obvious. But imagine it goes to like 94 and someone comments like 94 or you're thinking 94 and it goes to 94. I'm going to say one of the 92 or 93. I'm going to say 93. Oh my god, that is a beast card. 93 rated, guys. 101 finishing. 102 shot power. 89 long shot. 89 ball control. 89 strength. 87 sprint speed and acceleration. 87 dribbling and 96 heading. My word, that is insane. Shot passing is 91. 101 composure. 89 reactions. 88 long pass and uh, crossing, 88 awareness, 95 free kick and 76 aggression. My word, that is an insane card. My word. Also, the reason why I've put him on this left side, I don't know if I had him in the, um, I think I had him on the right side for like the first few episodes. But when I kick off, um, Kremerich usually passed to Hazard. So the player that's there, um, well, let me, let me do, let me do, <laughs> let me move this. The player that's here usually passes to that other player there. Um, you know, this right, this is gonna be fun. Watch this. This one passes to this one. This is so cool. I can do this. I've never thought about doing this. So, this one right here, the hazard, uh, usually passes to the player that's here. 
But if you swap them around, then, you know, they pass through the person. And using the Cramorich, I could just, you know, rublet everybody and just go score in, like, the first few minutes. Which is pretty cool. So, yeah. I'm just going to double check this. Does this look like... Is this too quiet for the game volume? Hopefully it's not too bad. But that's pretty much the end of the episode, guys. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.